Project Elixir version 3.9 is here. I made a video on the previous versions too, version 3.7, 3.8 and now it's 3.9. So which are the new things included with this version? If you are a user of Project Elixir and want to find out if something is interesting or something new added in this version or not, we'll talk about all of those things in this video. So stay tuned. Firstly, by the way, this is not with the June security patch. It's having the May security patch as you just noticed. It's the first thing. If you're able to notice all apps, themed icons option is available. And the best thing about this one is because sometimes in custom launchers, you have this option called all apps themed icons. But the thing is, whenever you enable that option, if some icons, I mean, some apps icons are not supported for that themed icon, you that sometimes looks weird. That sometimes look weird. So we have the option called monochrome icons, which simply un which simply theme those icons which are by default unthemed. Of course, those might look that much not great, but it's still quite good, of course, compared to that thing which is which doesn't look that good at all moving on to the other options here quick settings panel is already having those header images in the previous version too but with this new version there are many more quick settings header images included right now we have approximately 64 header images so if you are one of the users who loves to use these kind of features on their devices the option is here for you Moving on to the other options, we have the gaming mode options include the unlock higher FPS in game. So if you're a gamer and if you need this option, it's available. If you don't want to use that, you can simply, of course, disable this option. And if you need that, you can enable this option. It's available here in the gaming mode options, which is available in miscellaneous options right now. One more thing is media art customization included in the quick settings header. For example, whenever you play any media, for example, any song, any video, that background animation, that art, media art, which you consider, you can customize the blur amount, you can customize the fade percent. And these two things are quite useful if you play songs and if you want to customize your device, if you want to customize almost every part of your device, then this thing should also be considered. Another things which are included, which are actually included here is the quick setting tiles. For example, the volume panel tile is included. So if you don't want to use the volume panel from your volume keys, you can simply use the tiles. Of course, that's not related to some useful things. It's just for customization or if you need this thing or on your device to, to do these certain things or not. But it's it's not actually kind of useful because of course you can use volume panel by, by default. If your volume panel is broken, then you can try it. I mean, volume key is broken. We also have this tile which is called ring sound, I mean which is basically considered as sound tile where you can simply switch between ring mode and the vibration mode and the do not disturb mode. So this is quite useful actually. I mean of course I need this thing especially whenever I use my device so it's available. So that's, uh, that's actually an advantage. Also refresh rate tile and by the way this refresh rate tile is not for everyone by the way. I mean if you're, if you're, if you're using a device which is not having the refresh rate option, if you're using old device which is not having these options this tile is not available for you but for most of the devices which supports refresh rate for example 60 90 120 60s by default 120 right now my my device has or even if your device supports 90 or auto then you must switch between between these things from your quick settings panel and that's quite useful including that other options are basically same these were some major changes which are included with the version 3.9 but other things are almost same for example the settings ui which you can customize I made a video regarding Project Elixir versus Evolution X OS, which is having the better UI, better customizations. Then you can go and check it out. And other options in the terms of theming, as it is not having the Pixel Launcher pre-installed. So which means whenever you move on to the wallpapers and styles option, you will be able to notice some fonts options, some system icons options. All these options are present here for you, which you can go and explore, which is basically system icon packs. And we have a lot of customizations as expectedly. And it's not not basically a most customizable room we have ancient os we have banana droid i found spark os we have evolution x os those custom rooms are insane in the terms of customization project elixir is actually not one of them by the way project elixir supports some great features but for that you have to pay them i mean there is a paid subscription for this customer in free version this is what i'm using right now but if you need some more features you can simply explore like quick settings clock and locks and clock styles and much more you can go and check it out link is available in the description thanks for watching